Auroville is the realization of the dream of Mother Mira Alfaza and Sri Aurobindo that a city be established on earth where individuals of great diversity would live in pursuit of human unity. Sri Aurobindo was one of the first revolutionaries in India, a predecessor to Gandhi. In May 1908, he was arrested for conspiracy and held by the British for one full year. He spent his time in prison in the practice of yoga, where he experienced the possibilities of a divine life on earth. After his release, he fled to Pondicherry in southern India. It was during this time in Pondicherry that Sri Aurobindo developed and refined the process for effecting the inner transformation he had experienced in prison, a process he called integral yoga, a practice meant to transform rather than transcend life. That was one of the downfalls of the traditional yoga, that they neglected the material and the here and now. It was always escaping into some blue yonder, into the Himalaya cave. But in Shobindo's ashram, right from the beginning, Shobindo wanted to take up every field of activity. It means you have business and you have industry and you have farming and everything else they could do in Shobindo's ashram. It is life itself. We want to embrace life and change life, create a new society. A divine life upon earth, the ideal that has been placed before us can only come about by a spiritual change in our whole being, and a radical and fundamental change, an evolution or revolution, of our nature. Sri Aurobindo. He's been described as a philosopher, as a sage. He said, uh, I am not a philosopher, I was a politician and a poet. And what people consider my philosophy is just an rational expression of my own experiences. At the same time, Mira Alfaza, a young French woman, was discovering similar teachings. As a member of a French delegation to Pondicherry in 1914, the mother, as Mira Alfaza would come to be called, met Sri Aurobindo and later returned to live permanently at the ashram. Together, they spent their lives practicing and teaching a life meant to realize divine consciousness on earth. I'm hesitant to put them into the category of religious teachers. That's why I'm, I'm putting them in a context of a vastness, because if you haven't gone beyond it, you would look up to them in a religious sense. But it's your limitation rather than what they are saying. What Shabindu and Mother are saying is, become. That's the best service you can do. And here's a pathway of becoming. After the death of Sri Aurobindo in 1950, Mother Mira took up the work of their dream of a place on earth where a gathering of people of great diversity could live as one united family, a city she would name Oroville. As money became available, she bought up strips of land around a lone banyan tree on a barren plateau near Pondicherry. And so she decided a little later that this banyan tree here which was the only tree in the area, would be the geographical center of the town. And the uh, inauguration of the township took place in, around the urn behind me in 1968. 